Good evening. My video log this week is going to be on nonverbal gestures. For example, when speaking, our body language does much to either strengthen or to contradict what we say. We want to make sure that we understand body language and how it affects the person that we're talking to. For example, eye contact is very important in our daily communication. When we're talking to someone, if we're looking all around or not looking them in the face, then they may think that we're disinterested in what they have to say, and this puts them off towards us. We want to be engaging with those that we speak to. We want to look them in the eye appropriately so that they know that we have a response ready uh, when they're finished talking, that we have something interesting to say and something to contribute to the conversation that's positive. Something else we want to keep in mind is our gestures. For example, our hand gestures. Now in South Louisiana, we use a lot of hand gestures. Many of us speak with our hands. For example, if we're talking about the fish we caught, we may use our hands to show, well, the fish was this big. Or we may use them in a descriptive sense uh, when speaking of other subjects. So we want to make sure that um, we understand the different cultures and what hand gestures mean to them. Not all feel that certain hand gestures are appropriate. For example, a thumbs up to us may mean good job, but to others it may be rude. We may point out something that we enjoy uh, or that we want someone to see. Well, while that may be appropriate for us, it may be impolite in other cultures. Folding our arms or closing ourselves off can be very disrespectful to other cultures. We want to make sure that these emblems, because they're culture specific, are understood by us and used in the appropriate way. Take for example if we decide after school that we want to engage in international business. These things would become very important. It could mean the difference between closing an important deal and making a great deal of money, or it could mean losing a deal and not making that money or uh, that monetary gain for our company. What if we settle into a government role? We become a politician, maybe even an international politician. We want to make sure that the things we do with our nonverbal communication is not insulting or putting off to those that we speak to. There were many topics in the book that we could use to discuss our video log. Many of them are very important. Color, um, the distance we use when we stand, uh, if we have to bow to other cultures, different things. We want to make sure that we understand and that we use all of these appropriately so that we can engage in positive and progressive communication. Thanks for watching.